can anyone get to 270 if you were to have this kind of this kind of margin in the real in the real situation? Let's not forget Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Kennedy, Kennedy, the name which is most synonymous with the Democrat Party more than any other name. He left the Democrats because of the radicalism. Uh, and I saw this video over the weekend and I thought this was really interesting. If you are frustrated, if you're looking at the election right now and you're going, boy, I really don't like Joe Biden and I don't even think he's in charge and I can see all the problems America has, kind of over the Trump thing, don't really like that, don't like all the drama, he's not even campaigning, won't debate, I've kind of had it with that. Is there another choice? If, the, if these are the two we're left with, right? If the DeSantis thing just doesn't work out. If these are the two we, we are left with. Is there another choice? Well, RFK actually mapped out uh, a possibility and what his shot could be. These are battleground states among young people, voters 18 to 29, and this is a combination of the main battleground states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Um, Trump at 29, Biden at 30, you are at 34 percent, and then voters 30 to, 30 to 44 years old, you beat Trump and Biden at 31 percent. But let me ask you this. In, in, you have to have 270 electoral votes. Can anyone get to 270 if you were to have this kind of, this kind of margin in the, real, in the real situation? We're very confident that we're going to get to 270 votes, as you point out. President Biden, President Trump get on the ballot for free. They're going to force us to spend $15 million to get on the ballot. I only need 34 points to win the election. Because I, and technically, I could win with 34 points if the other two got 33. It's winner take all. And that's how I'm going to win. I have 10 months to take 4.5 percentage points from both candidates. And we're very confident that I'm going to do that. Okay. As you guys know, first off, I will fully put it out there, it is a very, very long shot that a guy like RFK and an independent could win, even despite his name and everything else. You also know that I have some political disagreements with him. He was for the affirmative action. Uh, he's for, he is for affirmative action. He was against the Supreme Court reversing it. We got into it, we discussed it on the show. He's definitely more big government than I am, but I know this guy really loves America. I also saw an interview with him a couple of days ago talking about all of his libertarian beliefs, like he, he is a good, decent American that wants to get us past all of the BS. Um, so maybe there is some other way. I think that a whole bunch of people, I mean, if you just look at those numbers right there, if you just look at those numbers, pe basically people under 44 like him just as much as they like those other guys. The people don't like the choices that we have. 